Welcome. Tonight we're going to focus in parts of Burgundy. Burgundy is such a complex wine region that we're going to devote a few sessions to it. But tonight I just thought we'd, uh, first of all, focus on red. Some people would say, well, Burgundy, that's the color of my leather couch. Isn't all of Burgundy red? No, it's not. As a matter of fact, about 60% of the production of Burgundy is actually white. And about 40% is red. And if it's red, almost without exception, it's going to be Pinot Noir. And that's what we have in front of us tonight is three Pinot Noirs. Uh, Burgundy, I'm just going to look at a map real quick, or probably a very well-used map. Burgundy is this thin section. And there's a few satellites, too. I'm going to talk about the satellites at other times. But we're going to focus on this section. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but Beaujolais is actually a section of Burgundy. We're not going to talk about that today. A whole other topic in and of itself. So, Burgundy, um, again, you can, you can enter Burgundy without uh, uh, mortgaging your house. This is a $20 bottle of wine. It's got Burgonia on the label. It's an entry-level, everyday drinking Pinot. Um, beautiful flavors. It's got a hints of what Burgundy is all about. So that's the entry. If you were to ever, ever be fortunate enough, you could go up the ladder to a ridiculous price. <laughs> Certain Burgundies uh, sell for thousands and thousands of dollars a bottle. Tonight, we're going to focus on things that are a lot more affordable. So that's the intro to Burgundy. This is from a part of Burgundy called the Cote de, uh, de Chalonnet. It's uh, kind of the middle section of Burgundy, where a lot of really, really great, um, high-quality wines at, at reasonable prices are. This is a Mercury, and it's a Premier Cru. Premier Cru is a, uh, a designation of quality and it only uh, applies to certain vineyard sites. I can get into that more as we go on uh, in the next couple of weeks too. This is another premier crew from a very esteemed part of Burgundy, which is considered the, the Côte d'Or, or the Golden Slope. The Golden Slope is also split into two areas, Côte de Nuit and Côte de Bonne. This is a wine from the Côte de Bonne, it is, again, a premier cru, so it's a wine of uh, a great uh, history and pedigree at a relatively affordable price. I would encourage um, you to come in and try any of these. Next week, we're going to go on to a, another part of Burgundy and look at some of the whites. See you then.